Defense Season Number Three. I am your host, Happy Month Number Three. You this twenty thousand dollar USD tournament. No. Yep. Nice. Nice. Even better from Baguette. The Chrono is there, but Poppy steals it. It won't affect Slave, though. That's a change that happened to him. Brumas on the sideline. Now your black hole. Hold her, boss. Hold Arsan with the shackle. It's still letting Slave do the damage he wants to do. And Arsan turns around the entire Baguette side. Just impaled. And now moving on to Vorja. He was able to hold a boss down, but then shackle up to a tree by Light of Evan. He will go down as well. Vision over here for Empire. And Tulek straight in. Opens up on Silent. Wants to bring him down. Syndra is making his way over. There's your lasso. Syndra wants a good position for an old man. Now he winds up. Ryan next to funny for the Naga. Ulti cancels it off, and he's going to come out of his shadow blade at the wrong time. They're going to find a mech. And there's your back in. And triple kill for Goblin. What the hell just happened there with a the bloody light with the blast? And Tulek's going to go down too. What was that combo? <laughs> oh man, look, DD, they didn't even want to worry about it. They're going straight for the GG. Tier 4 towers. Link doesn't have any, any kind of replicates for it, though. His army isn't, isn't existing just yet. But the Tier 4 towers are gone. And DD, they're going to attempt the reality rift. Stars up on grid. Can't face shift in time. Puck's already dead. Jen's been dropped down. Cagless. He's got nothing left. He's lost all of his life. And now DD, I don't know if they've got enough to really hold this. Link, there's a stun. There's enough. It's Oscar buying the space for the Phantom Lancer. He's going to bring down the Chaos Knight. Bounty on will fly back into the game. DL, he's still going to live through this. Now moves on the smash. There's just so many PLs. Triple kill for Link. He's going to go for more. There's an ultra kill for Link. It's going to be a rampage for Link. And then on the smash as well, the Phantom Lancer. He cannot be stopped. Tether up all you want. It's a double rampage. It's going to be a triple rampage. It's going to be It's going to be a GG. The Phantom Lancer will hold it. And it is going to be DD taking the first game here in the tiebreaker matchup. Decides they want to go in and pop a BKB or two. Oh, Cold Blast again. Line Maybe of Heaven too close in. Ars AL only going to fly in. A Force Nars art locked in position. They can't do anything when they're shackled up. But A's on very low life. Can't get a kill. Ship's going to fly in right now. It's a double kill. It's a triple kill for a boss. He's turning it around. He's going to go now. Move on to the Chaos Knight. The BKB will wear off. It's a low duration time. Then he's coming on out too. They pull him back. They tore him up. as a huge kill. I oh, know he had four stuff. Uh, he would have got himself back down again eventually. Paid up. A little bit troll being chased down by Crazy. Black is still here. Also notice too that Vader has a full butterfly available to be bought up. And now Man of Star gets rid of the Oak There's your black hole! Paul caught into it! The cleaving up as well! Three heroes gone! Four heroes gone! Let's make it the whole kit caboodle after the Agenda's died before. Mike so low on life, and they're going for the GG! Team Liquid are going for the GG, Fortification is down, the Tombstone is up, the Color Blast will fly again, and now Brewmaster into the split, they've got to control Korok, they must control Korok, Mike on low life, then one up in the air for Bulba. the Mask Machines cover fire, Mike, he will go down, Brewmaster will take care of it, and Korok just destroys Kurokai, and then moves over to the Keeper of the Life, and again, up in the air, send him up, TZ goes back onto the tower, PL, one second, now he's back up again, will it be enough, there's four here, is down. The bottom lane is pushing in and that is this black. He buys BTs. It's going to go for a base race. TC and Cora will it be enough? How much damage can you do? They can't get the tier 4 tower. GG. Team Liquid will take it. Coming out, they're coming out. The infest is in there, and there's the blink in. So TC gets in close. Clockwork instantly puts the cogs to the defense thing. And look at the damage on the fader. He's down to one third of his normal life points already. And force up up by Bob. He keeps the hex. He brings down the brewmaster. As the clockwork goes down, Chakuro. He just hurts so badly, but Bulber is locked here. Kuro will finally throw out the final nuke. Aegis is gone. 
And now they go again on Black, but look at the damage! Kuro is gone! They're all gone! Yeah, you can see Mortal and Fnatic, they've only lost one. Hero's on the run back out again, he's too low on life. They're running away from this Batrider illusion. Someone's gonna rip, get rid of this one. Hani's gonna get stunned off. Ilden comes back up. One hit takes out the leaner. Then the extra stun from the familiars. Oh! oh! Only just out for the fifth oh! pull out! That flame break was, that flame break is a guaranteed kill. Lasso comes up cooldown in one second time. They will pick off NS here. Yeah, well, of course. Oh. They should! They should! KSI is going to surge himself out. They're both four staffing and healing. Get beat and get those stunts out. Maybe have a bit of a blind blink out there. KSI with the Shadow Blade running it very, very quickly. Oh. Look at the Centaur stun! Three caught. They are all that they can be. And then even they can body block this out. First row cannot catch up. This is No Tell. He goes forward and No Tell throws out the nuke that almost kills off KSI. Honey comes in to help him. They're gonna kill on KSI. They might lose the army, but No Tell escapes. They get a kill. They turn themselves around, are they looking to fight? Hardy wants to go in, wonderful back into an even better puck only with the silence. Enes is gone, two on the sidelines, Trixie's up high, Ira goes on a mega kill streak. Lone Druid forced to buy him back, but he should never have a bet. No, he does have a bet. It looked like they had very oh, big. Big RP! Catches down so many! And then NS also picks up No Tail, but it's not enough! Hand of God to go off, and it's just too much fighting power. Arsan's gone, crazy too low. Hero's chasing him down, almost going inside the base to find that one. Goes over to KSI, look at that damage! Hardy goes unstoppable, Hero's almost gone, and it's on very, very low life. Hero must retreat back out again, let this hard do his job. Hardy on low life again, will just all himself out after phase shifting, able to escape back to bottom rank. Hero wants to take a few more. The pop. It can't be too long before a time down anyway. So